want to or not, you're going to get to know your boy a little better. What's going on people, it's your boy, Bros, tapped in this bitch, you already know. I just want to say that I really, really appreciate all the love and support. I really do. It's nice when you've got a channel where people really look to you for advice. That's a good thing. I'm being of help and entertaining at the same time, I hope. Now, I've only been doing this YouTube thing since March last year. God damn. I was looking through just some of the older videos the other day and I saw the first video I put up. Things men say. Take a quick look. Now, when I'm in a relationship, when I'm in a relationship, I got no motherfucking idea what the fuck to do. Let me ask you something. Does that look like a happy camper to you? Doesn't look like a happy camper to me. That's some funny shit. The reason I started YouTube is, back in 2015, I went through a breakup, a really nasty breakup with my ex. But it is what it is. But your boy was a fucking mess. You know, sometimes it's like, you know you love someone, but after the breakup, you're just like, God damn. I loved her even more than I wanted to admit. Shit. Your boy was fucked up, like depressed. And your boy was around, I'd probably say about 90 pounds heavier than he is now at that time. Your boy was in bad shape all around, mentally, physically, everything. In a lot of ways, I was doing well in my life. But with me personally, I wasn't. So I needed to find a way to kind of just change it all around. It's like, you know, hitting the gym, doing whatever. But then I said, okay, you know, I need something else. On my actual Facebook, I would do a lot of reviews and just... Talk shit. A lot of people on Facebook. And, you know, initially I got my music thing. So I was doing a lot of different things. And I was putting videos out and they were just like, shit. You need to go on YouTube with this shit. And I said, okay. And that's where I started. I don't know what it is about a guy getting dumped. All of a sudden, after he gets his heart broken, he feels he's an expert on relationships. You'll see my first few videos on YouTube just be about love and shit. Your boy was heartbroken, right? That shit was funny as hell. But then I got into the swing of things and I love my tech. And then I started reviewing stuff and... Here we are. And it's good because for me, it started off as, a, as an outlet for me to just be distracted from other shit. It's really helped because it's like I get to do what I love, which is just review stuff, talk about stuff, what have you. So in a great way, it's worked out. I never did it for the money. and I never came on YouTube because I wanted to make a living out of it. In that respect, I'm doing fine. You know, if I end up making money through YouTube, great. But it's not the reason I did this. The reason I did this was purely selfishly just an outlet. And it's it's it means a lot that all of you guys like the 4K reviews because I wasn't initially going to do 4K reviews until I, I'm not going to name names, but there are some YouTubers who review 4K Blu-rays. There are some out there. They ain't even reviewing the 4K in this bitch. And if they do, the most they'll say is it's a really good 4K transfer. What the fuck? Where's the reviews for people like us? And I gotta say, this shit's really picked up. I'm pushing the brass, brass tax brand, right? Because I do more than just YouTube. I've got a podcast coming out soon, but I'll talk more about that as and when. I've got an album coming out soon as well. We'll talk more about that as and when. But for right now, it's about just pushing the brand. But I love 4K. I love tech. And this seems like a great platform. But this platform would be nothing like with without you guys. And, you know, I love the comments. Comments to me always mean more than views. Comments means there's a general interest. It's like, okay, you're talking about this, but what about this? Or how do I do this? Or, or I'm stuck on this. Or, you know, what do you think? This is what I think. I disagree with you. You know, I love that shit. So definitely keep shit like that coming. You guys know already who comment that I get back to everyone. Pretty much. I know there's a couple of people I need to get back to. But other than that, I get back to people. I may get someone specific. She may come and do like music reviews. She's awesome. She's beautiful as well. So, you know, watch her views be higher than mine in this bitch. So I'm going to have other people to do different things. But you're, you're 4K and tech is your boy. I said it a million times and I don't, I don't just say it just to say it. I say it because I mean it. It's like this channel will be nothing, absolutely nothing without its subscribers. And you guys subscribing because you guys are awesome. But for you guys, round of applause for you. I want you guys to watch this. I want to give a big shout out to this guy I just stumbled upon on YouTube. And his name is Brass Tax. He does the uh, 4K Blu-ray reviews. The best 4K Blu-ray reviewer on YouTube. Definitely check him out. Um, this is a, a, a pure shout out. It's not like I'm uh, shouting out like one of my friends or something. I never even talked to the guy, but he he has excellent 4K Blu-ray reviews. Probably a hundred times better reviewer than I am for sure. So I'll have a link down in the description box below. Definitely check him out. Watch his uh, 
top 10 4K Blu-ray reviews or top 10 4K Blu-rays of uh, 2016. Pretty pretty good. So I'm definitely picking up a couple of uh, 4K Blues because of his advice. Me and Logan Toxic are not friends, right? And he just went out of his way to do that. Yeah, and I really appreciate it, and you really helped, man. As soon as you did that, I got some subscribers, so thank you very much. Logan Toxic is funny as hell. I haven't seen all his videos, because dude's got about a million uh, videos on his channel. And he's got a ton of subscribers, and I can see why. What he does is he goes around and he, he finds really good deals on Blu-rays. He's got recent movie reviews out. He is awesome. What makes his channel even more awesome is the music. This dude got a track playing in the background. On that video specifically I showed you, where they're talking about barbecue sauce, I believe. And it's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard, but it's catchy as hell, and I liked it. Dude Funny, definitely subscribe to him if you haven't already. He reviews 4K Blu-rays as well. That channel's given me a hell of a lot of laughs. Another guy who does what I do. I don't think he's been on YouTube very long, but he's doing well. His subscribers are like shooting up there, and he's reviewing 4K Blu-rays along with other tech, kind of similar to what I do. He's the clean version. He's nice. I'm the bad guy. He would be the good cop to your bad cop right here. Do you know what I'm saying? That is AR Media. AR Media, shout out to you, brother. Some of your earlier videos, I think you were still trying to figure out like how to, uh, bro, we all been there. You should have seen some of my early videos. I've been like fucked up around here. You found your flow. So he's all smiles. He always looks happy. Sometimes I look at this video and think, what the fuck are you happy for? You have to review this shitty 4K Blu-ray. Why are you so happy? But in any case, he reviews 4K Blu-rays as well. Shout out to you, AR Media. He does a good job. Uh, he goes into detail like I do. He does these cool panning shots with the Blu-rays and shit. Which I was going to incorporate, but I'm not going to incorporate now because, you know, that's your shit. So respect to you, brother. Now, there's another guy I want to talk about, and that is... Very briefly, I'm going to talk about him, and that is 1316 Killer. God damn! This dude is all jokes. This dude has made me laugh out loud on various occasions. He reviews 4K Blu-rays as well, along with other tech, and just really just speaks his mind, just blogs on whatever pretty much he wants. But here's the thing, he's always entertaining. And I think a lot of times he's really misunderstood. He's uncut raw cocaine in this bitch. Just like your boy. No one is safe. Like, I'm talking about him now, shouting him out, yeah? It's only a matter of time before he comes gunning for me. I'm gonna say some shit because we kind of talk about similar things in terms of 4K and stuff. He's gonna disagree with, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna come for me, yeah? But I'll be ready, brother. I'll be ready. Boy, ain't no pushover shit. You work out, I work out. It's all good, brother. But in any case, shout out to him. Definitely subscribe to him. He's got a ton of subscribers, he's got a really popular channel. And he's awesome too. Now, finally, Mel Crip 89, what you're saying, brother? You showed me love right at the beginning. Now, this guy also talks about 4K. And he's done a recent list of 4K transfers. It's good to have uh, a lot of different points of view. And uh, you know, this guy's had some of the worst luck with TVs, I'm telling you. When he first subscribed, I kept watching. All I ever saw was his problems with the TV. God damn. But, you know, he's cool. He's down to earth. He's super chill, which tells me he does weed of some kind, which means, brother, hook your boy up. All jokes, brother, all jokes. No, but he cool, he ultra cool, and definitely subscribe to him as well. So you got AR Media, you got Logan Toxic, you got 1316 Killer, you got Metal Crip 89, and you got yours truly, Mr. Brass Tax himself. We like the five horsemen in this bitch. The five horsemen of 4K. And that's really it, guys. Wanted to give a shout out. A lot of new things happening uh, in the channel, which I'll keep you updated on. In any case, guys, thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if, you, if you're not subscribed already. And I will catch you next time. Oh, 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 oh,